Okay, so today we're gonna play Democracy 4. And we are gonna do a little experiment. We are gonna try to create the perfect democratic socialist government. So imagine Bernie Sanders became president, or maybe AOC, or maybe me, content, right? So I am going to try to create a perfect democratic, progressive, socialist country. We're gonna play as the United States of America, population of 328 million, most popular food, the cheeseburger, of course. Let's give our party um, progressive, not progressive fascist, because we want to have some, some liberties here. Let's call ourselves progressive fundamentalist. Okay. And the opposition party should be like fascist. Uh, let's see. How about we make them <laughs> the absolute unity party? Oh, the new right. I like that. The new right. Okay, so the new right will be our nemesis in this game. We're going to leave the rest of it as is and let's play. Okay, welcome to your new job as president. The lives of all 328 million citizens are now in your hands. As you can imagine, there are a number of situations and concerns that you will need to deal with as soon as possible. While keeping an eye on long-term improvement of your citizens' quality of life. Plus, do not forget that you face re-election in four years. So you will need to monitor the opinion polls and our party membership. Good luck. Now, it says that I won by a 10% majority. And I'm facing some, some big issues. Unemployment is high. Crime is ridiculously high. Uh, and so I think we should tackle those two things. But let's try to tackle them in a progressive socialist way if we can. So to start off, I have... 17 political capital uh, points that I can spend. And uh, I can take a look at my cabinet. Let's see. My cabinet ministers. Um, and I want these guys to be as liberal as possible. So let's let's try to put cabinet members on here that are so this guy is a patriot. I don't know if I like that. Okay, she's a liberal. She supports ethnic minorities. That's great. But our tax person is a capitalist, so I definitely want to fire her. And I am going to hire a liberal if I can. Let's see, tax. Okay, socialist liberal, perfect. Okay, our law and order guy is parents and religious. I definitely don't like that, but maybe I'll leave him for now. Religious and parents. Okay, our law and order, I'm going to fire him. And I am going to hire a liberal. Bam. Yeah, let's go ahead and fire him also our foreign policy guy and for foreign policy state employees I like that okay so we're gonna hire him so now I have 13 political capital point uh, points left after making my cabinet the way I want it so our problems are crime and unemployment our biggest problems will definitely crime is a very big problem that we have so let's start by looking at the welfare state perhaps crime is so big because well we don't have a lot of unemployment benefits and people get desperate so let's start by increasing unemployment And I would also like to, if I could, but I can't. Yeah, so I have five uh, political. So yeah, let, let's make that our only change for this first round. Is we are, the, our only change is we're gonna increase the unemployment benefits for Americans. 
And that's going to be our first round. So crime has decreased a little bit. Unemployment has decreased a little bit. And poverty has decreased a little bit. So, but there is an urgent policy question regarding stop and search. Clearly, we do not want stop and search because that violates a lot of liberal and progressive ideals, uh, which is... So, so and when we talk about socialism, democratic socialism definitely cares about the freedom and liberties of people much more than, let's say, like socialist, uh, social, um, communist socialism. So we're going to go ahead and go with leave unchanged, and that's going to make the liberals happy. Great. And we also have armed religious communities building up over time. That's not that's not good. And we're going to do something about guns in a little bit. Okay, so that's our round. So now we have 20 points. Okay, so we still want to tackle unemployment. We still want to tackle uh, guns. So let's take a look at guns. If I were to increase the restriction of guns a little bit, I need 23 to make licenses required. So you know what? I'm actually going to use no political points this round. Okay, traffic, gridlock has eased. There's a hostage situation. Okay, a group of religious extremists have taken some hostages at gunpoint and are threatening to kill them unless demands regarding foreign policy are not met. The demands they make are not that extreme, but it might be dangerous to be seen to negotiate. So the best thing we can do here is to be reasonable and give in at least partially to their demands. That way we can ensure nobody gets hurt and the situation is spiral out of control. Now, normally I would say we should not negotiate with hostages because we don't want more people to think that they can change our policy via hostages. However, since we are creating a democratic socialist uh, world here, I'm going to go ahead and give in to their demands. So our strong leadership is decreased, but hey, we actually benefit by from religious from the religious crowd. That's, that's interesting. <clears throat> These armed religious people are continuing to increase. Take a look at our budget. Our debt is increasing, but our relative GDP is increasing. That's great. And now we have 30. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to restrict guns. Licenses are now required for firearms. We're going to burn through some capital there. And with our remaining 7% capital, is it possible that we can increase state pensions? Yes, I believe we can. All right. So we increased state pensions and we made firearms required licenses. Health is decreasing, crime is decreasing, and poverty is decreasing. That's great. That's great. We still have to tackle this health issue next, so... I think we should probably go handle state health service. So let's go ahead and increase that as much as we can. So if you have serious illness, you are going to be treated. All right, we have five left. So let's see. Let's go ahead and handle some of the security here. How about intelligence? Because I don't like the idea of these armed. Yeah, I don't like the idea of this armed uh, religious group. Now it does hurt hurt us with liberals, ironically, but. And I can understand why, but uh, I think it's important not to be assassin. As I'm turning America into uh, Norway. Okay, health is continuing to go down. I have to do something more about health. 
How about ban alcohol adverts? Absolutely. It might not stop alcohol alcoholism overnight, but a TV ad ban is a step in the right direction. Absolutely. Let's go ahead and do that. The liberals did not like that for some reason, but uh, yeah. Donors are abandoning us left and right. Okay. I believe that the presidential term should be limited. Vladimir Putin. <laughs> the man who has served like eight eight terms as, as president of Russia believes terms should be limited. Great. That's very ironic. What else can we do about health? Let's see. Is there anything we can do? So this is taxation. Welfare. Is there something more we can do? So uh, perhaps the only thing we can do for health at this moment is to increase it even more. So let's go all the way up to... Yeah, let's go all the way up to the max that we can do here. And yeah, let's save our four political capital points for the next round. All right, messenger from the from the minister. One of your cabinet ministers needs to talk to you urgently. She's displeased at what we're doing. She's thinking about quitting, okay. Our credit rating has decreased. That's never good. Uh, our approval rating is dropping. Disposable income is dropping. Uh, we got a focus group here. That's not good. That's not good. Alcohol consumption is increasing. Wait. No, alcohol consumption decrease, crime decrease, right? Poverty is decreased. So, I mean, no, there's some good things there. Where do I fall? So, so far, I am in the wrong cap turn here. I want to be over here. I want to be where Jeremy Corbyn and Bernie Sanders is. So, let's see if we can make that happen. Okay, we got 17 political points. So, the first thing I think we should do is... I think we should increase taxes. No, but see, you know, I, I, so I wish there was something, a way that we could target the, the tax increase. Because I don't want to just increase the taxes. I don't want to hurt the middle class. I want to hurt the capitalist class, the wealthy. I, I, I don't I don't think that this game allows me to focus it. Huh. Um, what about well I, I can go to like capital capital gains tax, right? Or something something specific. Inheritance tax. Here here we go. I'm gonna increase this as much as possible. Target the wealthy. Big tax. Okay, so she's threatening to quit unless I, I, I initiate a cyberbullying awareness campaign. I'm all for that. Why not? There was a food scandal. Donors are leaving left and right. My popularity is getting lower and lower as time goes on. <laughs> uh, we're going to raise corporate taxes. Absolutely. We're going to raise corporate taxes. All right, crime is now not in the red and unemployment is not in the red. Health is improving, this is great news. Poverty is very, very low, that's great. So let's continue with our tax. Hmm. Sales tax, I wanna make sales tax really low, like 1% sales tax for sure. Make sales tax low. 
All right, so I can't actually I can't actually influence that right now. Is there No, I don't want a petrol tax per se. Alcohol tax. All right, capital's gains. Here we go. I definitely want to tax them to the max. Maximum taxation for capital gains. And uh, our increased taxes is uh, helping us with our debt, our deficit. That's good news too. All right. Uh, <clears throat> refuse collection workers, a uh, refuse, uh, trash. Collection workers are on strike in a dispute over pay. The trash is starting to pile up in the streets and people are, are understandably annoyed. The strike is legal, but there are health concerns and pressure for you to comment. Now listen, we are socialists, okay? We believe in workers' rights. The right to uh, unions is fundamental. So it is a fundamental right of all workers to withdraw their labor in a legal industrial dispute. So I'm definitely supporting the workers. All right, definitely supporting workers there. All right, uh, there is an urgent policy question. Some religious citizens left our country to fight a religious war overseas. Jesus Christ. A war that in many ways threatened our interests and security. That fighting has now ended. So they went to go fight for like ISIS or something. Should we allow them to return? So this says it's a difficult principle to defend, but we have to accept that our citizens are our citizens, even when they commit crimes abroad, or in this case, take up arms against us. By all means, prosecute them for their actions, but we cannot deny their citizenship because we find it inconvenient. Now, yeah, I believe in, I believe in that. And as democratic socialists, I think that that is a, a progressive ideal. But if it were me, I would definitely, definitely prosecute them. Let's hear the other argument. When our citizens leave this country to go fight alongside our enemies, they lose any claim to citizenship and any right to live here. Under no circumstances should they be allowed back, even to stay in trial. Yeah, so I'm going to definitely allow them to return, but I'm definitely going to um, gonna have them serve trial. Yeah, so the conserva conservatives probably aren't that happy with us right now. Take a look at the budget. Our debt is increasing. Our the global economy is just kind of decreasing. But our GDP is going up, so that's good news. A little, a little good news. Okay, we have 11 political capital points. I'm a little worried that because we increase our intelligence services, it's hurting our liberal ideas. Let's go with the race to Sherman. Let's go ahead and bump that up to maximum. We're going to have no racial discrimination as little as we can. And how about, okay, I don't have enough political capital, but at some point I'm going to legalize drugs. I just can't do it yet. The death penalty, I would decrease it. I don't have enough local capital yet. Oh, I spent it on the death penalty. Oh, what, what did I do? I hope I didn't increase it. Oh, I, I decreased it a, a little bit for violent crime. Okay, so that's it. Our minister is unhappy with us. She wants us to implement bus lanes. I don't, I don't, I don't understand. What, what does that have to do with? I don't know about that. You know what? We're, we're not going to focus on transport too much at, at first. I want to focus on.
taxation or welfare, like rent control, for example. Yes, definitely. I want to implement some rent control. Because uh, I want to help the poor. Absolutely. There was a sexual assault, uh, assault reported and the prisons are getting overcrowded. Let's take a look at the polls. Wow, my popularity is very, very low at the moment. Whoa, I had 24%. Okay. <laughs> there, uh, America is not liking my socialist policies at the moment. That's okay. They'll learn to love it as poverty is at the lowest it's ever been. And crime has decreased. So eventually Americans will learn to, to love my policies. All right. So we had the transportation minister resigned. I have not been focused too much on transportation. I'm not going to hire a conservative. I am going to hire a liberal. There we go. Public services, she's unhappy, and a welfare is unhappy, which is really ironic considering I've been trying to focus on welfare. Public service. Let's focus on welfare a little more. Okay, let's see. How can I help? How can I help even more? Can I increase the state pensions more? I can. I don't know. Yeah, let's just increase it a little bit here. And public services, state schools. Let's go ahead and yell. Yeah, let's increase our health as much as we can. And let's go another one. Okay, needle exchange. I'm all for that. Uh, let's definitely implement it. And let's implement it by a lot. The maximum I can implement. Yeah, see, uh, there was an attempt on my life by the army of God. There we go. People are starting to evade taxes. And my polling is getting worse by the day. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Whoa, look at the situation. Wait, 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 wait. What happened there? Why is everything suddenly red now? I don't know what happened, but suddenly everything is... Okay. Anyway, uh, let's take one more turn. There's a strike going on. There's a capitalist plot. Our intelligence network has identified a potentially serious plot by a number of wealthy industrialists to force the overthrow of the government. The plot seems to be in the early stages and we are not in a position to make arrests yet, but it is clear that some capitalists consider it desirable to engineer a replacement for the current government. We should be cautious. Hmm, interesting, interesting. I don't think I'm going to do anything about that quite yet, but I'm going to keep an eye over here on law and order. Freedom of the press is high. Judicial independence is high. I don't think, I don't think we're, we're going to focus on law and order just yet, even though conservatives are very, very, very unhappy right now. Hmm. Let's go ahead and increase this alcohol tax. Because I think that increasing the alcohol tax. Not only will it make us a little bit of money, but it bring alcohol consumption down. I don't want to hurt the poor too much. So let's leave it like Let's go 65% there. Let's see if that influences anything in the next round. 
Unemployment is going back up. That's not good. Education is decreasing. And we had a minister resign. Public services. She, she has great stats, but she's a patriot, and she's definitely not going to like some of the policies that I'm going to do. Trade unionists. Okay, there we go. She should be happy. People are evading taxes. I don't know if there's anything we can do about that. Let's see. I could increase the minimum wage of alcohol. I really wanted to tackle alcohol. I don't want to have some prohibitionist, rev you know, revolution on my hands though. I would like to legalize drugs. Hmm. Maybe I won't do anything this turn. Let's just see how things progress in the next turn. GDP is very low. Unemployment is very high. And I have to do something about this. A convicted terrorist has gone on hunger strike, demanded he be allowed visits from people thought to be associated with terrorist groups. We do not have evidence to arrest his colleagues and are currently banning all visits from this prisoner. But it looks like he will go through with his hunger strike threat. He may well die in his cell. Well, we've already had a policy of negotiating with terrorists, so why not stop? We might not like this man, but let's not let him die. All right. All right, we can give a campaign speech. All right. Uh, let's see. Ah, I can't do anything. Okay, okay. All right. So we can give a speech. Your script writers have prepared some punchy slogans to go in your speech. And you must choose up to four. I want us to be a young country again. With a common purpose. Ideals we cherish to live up. No, 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 no. It is the task of statesmanship to mold, to balance, and to integrate these and other forces, new and old, within the principles of... Uh, principles of what? I don't know. <laughs> of course, our vision and our aims go far beyond complex arguments of economics, but unless we get the economy... Yeah, yeah, definitely. Let's talk about the economy a lot. All right, that sounds good. A society that works for everyone so we can bring people back together, rich and poor, north and south, urban and rural. I, I like that type of stuff. There is so much good, so much possibility, so much excitement in this country. All right, so let, yeah, let's go with those four. Let's give a speech. See if people are liking the speech. A popular speech. All right. They're loving it. They're loving it. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Actually, socialists didn't like the speech too much. I, I, I didn't really get that, that whole thing. Well, hey, look, I was struggling with capitalists and parents because of my policies, so. Listen, if my actions aren't going to help them, at least my speech can help them out a little bit. I'm going to hold on to my political capital and let's skip a turn. Hmm, interesting. All right, understanding our different backgrounds better and better these days. Uh, people are now treating each other equally. 
blurring and even erasing lines between races, genders, and beliefs. All right. We're making a better world, slowly but surely. But we have to do something about unemployment at this point. Uh, what can I do? Ah, just, ah. Uh, you know what? I, I, I want to target taxes. Yeah, but the more I tax, the more uncompetitive the economy gets and the more tax evasion there is. Uh, let's see. I'm already taxing capital gains as much as I possibly can. I could increase taxes. Middle income suffers. This is so weird because we have a progressive tax system. So increasing income tax doesn't have to hurt the middle class. It's so it's so ridiculous. I, I don't agree with this game. Uh on that I do agree with increasing tobacco tax though well, we can gain 16 billion dollars from that and over here in the economy let's see agricultural subsidies um, labor laws of course I definitely want to make it balanced Okay, so we got some balanced labor laws going on. That's a good term for us, for our socialists. <laughs> All right, so these are manifesto promises. <clears throat> so one of my promises that I really want to do, I want to raise the GDP. Oh, what? Wait, what just happened? Oh, maybe I promised it already. Oh, maybe I promised it already. I don't, I'm not sure what happened there. Okay, and how are we going to raise it? Wait one second. All right, so I'm going to skip this turn. Oh, election results. Here we go. Oh, no. The progressive. Ah, I got destroyed. I got literally destroyed. I got destroyed in the election. But if you look at what I accomplished in my four years as president, I decreased private health care, crime decreased 50%. Uh, alcohol consumption decreased, equality increased, poverty decreased, productivity actually increased, oil demand decreased, uh, foreign investment increased, traffic congestion decreased. Look, we had a 20% greater lifespan, the environment improved, health increased, stability increased. All right. The poor earned more. There was more gender equality. All right. Like the American people really, really did not appreciate this amazing transformation, which happened over the four years of my presidency. And you know what? They are going to get the country they deserve. They are going to get Donald Trump 2024. 
that's it for this playthrough of Democracy 4. I'm going to try again next time and see if I can't uh, improve. Or perhaps I will have a fascist, free capitalist country in the next playthrough. Until next time.